Tonight, we salute our golden anniversary quartet champions. Our 1955 champs hailed from Amarillo, a rural town in the desolate Texas panhandle. They got their start in the 1930s as a funeral home group called the Blackburn Shaw Quartet. Several men sang in the group through the years. Tenor Wendell Heine joined in 1935. Twelve years later, baritone Dwight Elliott became a member. When the Amarillo Barbershop chapter was chartered in 1948, the Blackburn Shaw Quartet signed up and officially became barbershoppers. By 1950, they were singing on scores of chapter shows and began to travel extensively. They renamed themselves based on their occupations, a finance man, a life insurance salesman, a cemetery plot salesman, and a funeral director. So it was only natural that they called themselves the Four Hearsemen. They soon incorporated a Digger O'Dell routine into the act and created their trademark. Each show began with them slowly walking on stage, carrying an imaginary casket. They became one of the most entertaining foursomes using lines like, we'll be the last to let you down. Georgia, love my Georgia, the whole, the whole day through. Following the 1952 International, they broke up, but reformed a year later after digging up two new members, lead Dean Watson and bass Dick Gifford. Their hard work paid off for them at the 1954 International, where they placed second. They were thrilled. I can't forget that night we met. It was 50 years ago the Hurstman traveled from dusty Amarillo to tropical Miami and outsang everyone else with three near-perfect sets. On June 18, 1955, cheered on by 4,000 barbershop fans, they were crowned world champions and awarded gold medals in the huge trophy. Thus began a busy year of singing and being on the road almost every weekend. But the championship career of the Hearstman was short-lived. They sang their swan song the next year at International in 1956, and the quartet split up due to job changes and relocations. Three of the members went on to sing in other quartets. But the 1955 Hearstman reached their peak that summer 50 years ago. I believe for every drop of rain. Where are they now? Sadly, two members have passed on. Lead singer Dean Watson died following an automobile accident in 1985. Baritone Dwight Elliott died in 2003 at the age of 86. Bass Dick Gifford is retired and still lives in Fort Worth. And tenor Wendell Heine is retired and lives in Denver. And at the age of 94, he is proud to be the oldest living gold medalist. So tonight, we salute the four Hearstmen on their golden anniversary. Although relatively unknown by most barbershoppers today, you can still find some who remember experiencing the four Hearstmen in person and are still convinced they were one of the best ever. And you know, they were right. Georgia's always on my